automotive industry is 70 years old. During this time, there were a handful of cars that set a benchmark so high that it became very difficult for the competition to match it. One such brilliant product is a Toyota Innova. After 15 years of ruling the roads of India, the Innova finally has a worthy competitor. But do you think people would pick this over the car that is won by its reliability? Say hello to the all new Kia Carnival. When I first saw the Kia Carnival, I was wondering if we could still drive it using a normal driver's license. Because it's that massive. It's not only longer and wider than the Innova Crista, but it's just 30cm shorter than the Tempo Traveler. What's really surprising is, in spite of the rocketing dimensions, Kia has managed to style it very well. In fact, it looks much better than the Mercedes V-Class. First look at the front and you would wonder if it's actually a sibling of the stylish Seltos. But, your misconceptions are put to rest when you spot the tiger nose grille of the Kia family. The headlamps are projectors with integrated turn indicators and neatly laid out DRLs. You get the front parking sensors which are very helpful in maneuvering this massive MUV inside the city. The rear of the carnival is nothing fancy to write about. You get the stylish last tail lamps which are neatly integrated in the tailgate with the chrome strip running around. Not to forget the boot is electrically controlled. The party starts when you move to the side of the car. The humongous stance seems to be inspired from the western world. But let me show you a very interesting thing. The Kia Carnival welcomes you like this. How stylish is that? Once you get inside the rear of the Kia Carnival, you would be left spellbound by the amount of space inside the car. There's acres and acres of space inside. You get an individual sunroof for the rear, you have individual armrests, you have a lot of legroom on offer and the seats offer brilliant under thigh support. The Kia Carnival takes it to a whole new level. Check this out. The cabin is made with good quality materials and the piano black inserts on the dashboard, steering wheel and door pads uplift the premium appeal of the car. The three-spoke multifunction steering wheel is identical to other Kia cars and has plethora of buttons for music control, cruise control and voice commands. But the instrument console with the MID display in between looks very sporty. The dashboard is dominated by a massive 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with all sorts of smartphone connectivity options along with navigation and reverse camera. The performance of AC is just brilliant. It makes you feel like a native of Antarctica in no time. There is a lot of storage space on offer. You get the sunglass holder, cup holder, USB charging sockets and a lot more. One of the most sensible features of the carnival is that the rear doors can be shut and open using a button here. There is a lot of space even in the third row. You get good legroom. The under thigh support is slightly less but having said that, it is still better than the Innova. You get individual speakers here. You have the roof mount AC vents. There is a sunroof that makes you feel very airy inside the cabin and you get the sun blinds here and an individual USB port as well. Here. The Carnival is powered by a 2.2 litre CRDI motor that churns out 190 bhp and 440 Nm of torque. Don't get carried away by the numbers. Let's find out how does it run. Tap the accelerator and the Carnival takes a progressive approach to reach a turn. The low range is fine, the mid range is brilliant but beyond a certain point it reminds you that it's not an AMG. So. Set your expectations right. However, the bigger problems are the engine is slightly cluttered and it does not do justice to the 200 horses on the paper. Talking about the steering, the steering feels extremely light at low speeds, but it does not grow up with higher speed. But this is a concern on the highway, and this being an MPV, I give it a benefit of doubt and not look at it from an enthusiast point of view. The Carnival is a very heavy car. To be precise, it weighs just over 2 tons. This coupled with its MPV stance means that a slight body roll is part of a breakfast. But I am pretty sure you won't be buying this to push it around the corner. One USP of the Carnival over Innova Crista is the phenomenal ride quality it offers. It is the Kia Carnival rides on 18 inch alloy wheels. It absorbs the potholes very well. So would I pick the Kia Carnival over Innova Crista? Definitely yes. It's stylish, it's modern, has a lot of features and probably I could build a house inside it too. But having said that, it's slightly difficult for Kia to push this off the showroom shelves unlike the Kia Seltos. That's because in India, we do not accept MPV based vans with open hands. Nissan tried it with Avelia, Mercedes tried it with V-Class and the rest is history. Thank you for being part of the second video review of Shutter Drives. Follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the button below. 
थैंक यू एंड ड्राइव सेफ